try this again. <clears throat> hey everyone, Defects here, the world's most powerful cyborg in the multiverse. Yes, it's true. Oh, it's true. And today, me and my brother bought ourselves the Scimitar by Corsair, the Scimitar RGB Elite MOBA and MMO Mouse. Alright, and today we're going to teach you how to keybind your spells on your UI to your IQ program that you must install when you uh, connect your mouse to your computer to get them to read it. Alright, so we'll do that right now. It's pretty easy, don't let the program of IQ, it's called, um, intimidate you, because it's, it's, there's a lot to look at, but we'll go through it here. Um, so as you can see, I have it all working. I'll just go get this raptor over here, just to show you that my keys are working, all of them, from my shift three, right here, to my one, to my shift one, to my three, right? That's not exactly my keep uh, my rotation, but you get the idea. Let's kill this guy real quick. All right. So as you can see, we got it all working properly. No issues. It was very easy to set up. It took me 20 minutes to set up after I watched a tutorial video, but the one I watched was missing a couple of important things that we're gonna go through right now. So you pull it up, here we have uh, profiles, yours will be set to default. And as you can see on actions, there's nothing here, there's no numbers, right? When I click wow, you'll see 12 pop up. That means I have 12 keys assigned. All right. So we'll make a, a new one. Actually, we've got to click plus profile six and then double click it. Call it uh, peep peep poop poo. Okay. And we're going to click actions. Okay, so this is where you're going to assign your buttons to your game. And to do that, all you got to do is press the add to the actions because we're going to add. And it says here macro one. All right. So you go down here where it says macro in the pull down list. And we're going to change the macro because we're not making a macro. We're going to change it to number and symbol keys. The video I was watching, he had it set to numeric keypad. I don't recommend that. I recommend number and symbol keys because I'll, I'll explain at the end why it's better. But um, So you click that. And then... What you do is you click number one and one on here, right? And then you can like double click here and like call it whatever you want. Like, no, I just go one, right? And then enter, All right? Simple as that. Press it again, drag this down underneath to make it look nicer, I guess. You can leave it up top, it doesn't matter. And once again, macro number and symbol keys, and you click two, right? Oh, and then you have to click this. And then you'll see the G1, G2, that just means it's, it's that button is assigned, or that number is assigned to that button, right? And you don't have to save or anything. All you gotta do is press another game. We're just gonna go through them all here real quick. Acro, number symbol keys, 
delete. Do that with the other one too. Two. Right. Real easy. Four. Four. Click four. Oh, we didn't click this one. There we go. Okay, next one. Five. Five. It doesn't take very long. It's just a little tedious just doing this right. But I mean, with any other MMO mouse, you're gonna have to do something like this with their program. Whether you buy a Razer, which I don't recommend you ever do in your life. I've done it too many times, given them too many chances, and they screw me over almost every time. You feel me? Okay. Oh. A macro I'm all over the place here now. Seven. A few more. And we're gonna go all the way from 10, 11, 12 because uh, 10, 11, 12 are kind of, you know, I mean, pretty self explanatory, but I'm just gonna show you just, just, just so you're sure, right? Nine. Did we click nine? No. Okay. There we go. So yeah. What I forgot to do when I was watching the first tutorial. I was doing all this, clicking the numbers, and then doing all this, right? But I was forgetting to click to assign it to a to one of your keys. So yeah, you gotta make sure you assign it to your keys so that you see the G1 G to the, the G1s. So it'll appear when you click the keys. Anyways. Almost there. Ten. Zero. Five. Ten. Right? We're good. We are good. Okay, so 10, now 11. 10, for 11, we're not gonna click return or escape. Instead, we're going to refer to our keyboard and we're gonna see that after zero on your keypad, on your keyboard, is the undersc underscore and the underline. So that would be this right here. So you click 11 to assign that. Now just be like you're clicking on your keyboard on your number number pad itself. And lastly, 12. So 12 would be the equals and plus sign. So that would be this. And you click 12. Okay, but we're not done yet. One very important last step. Yeah, one more step. So we go into the game now. So we have this, we have it set to uh, pee pee poo poo. This is our profile, it is active right now. We don't have to do anything with the program. You can close it if you want, you can minimize it if you want, you can just leave it up if you want, whatever, all right. Go into the game itself, press escape, go into your key bindings, right? Go to your action bar, and you assign them. I have them already assigned, so it should be good. And then if you have a, an extra action bar here for your shift, so I got one and I got shift one, two, shift two, three, shift three, and so on, right? So you go into your multi-action toolbar, and that'll be your bottom left action uh, bar 
and it'll be the first one here. So all you have to do is click Shift 1. Key bound successfully, right? Shift 2, right? You don't do the shift in the IQ program itself, you do the shift uh, key binds in the game itself. And I think from the comments I was reading in the last person's video that I was watching, people were having issues with that and I think that's what they were missing. They were think probably thinking that they sh that they key bound the shift into the IQ program itself and it's not all you need to do is just the 1 through 12, right? And then the shifts are key bound in the game itself. All right. Turn to game. Let's go find something to kill real quick so that I can show you that everything is working just like on my last profile. It's gonna be the same. And uh, there's nothing, okay. So we'll go shift three, right? One, two, shift one for my shield. Three for my smite. Back to one. Finish them off. Maybe wand them a bit. There we go. My wand's number 10 back there. And I got no inventory space. Great. So there you have it. Simple as that. And I... The video I watched, I'm not going to mention the video. But, um... I, you know, you can keybind it other ways. The way he did it was he went uh, with these, he went and changed it to um, numeric keypad instead of number and symbol keys. So numeric keypad, the issue with that is um, when I when I clicked, uh, say, the number 12, there is no 12 here. There's no 12, okay? It would have to be like, I think he selected this one for the number 12, the keypad minus. So that's kind of confusing, A. Secondly, in order for this to work, you have to have your number lock on your keypad enabled. It has to be, uh, you know, uh, on your, your number lock so not all keyboards even have a number uh, a keypad or number lock some newer keypads uh, keyboards don't so there's that issue too and also the most confusing one was if you're using a classic UI like I am no add-ons or anything when you do that and you use the keypad uh, way of assigning keys is what happened was this, uh, my number one, my number two here on my UI, my number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, the numbers you see here, they changed to say num, 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 num on every key. So you have no idea what number it is, right? So that's a big issue. So with my tutorial, that's fixed. You just uh, go with number and symbol keys pretty straightforward so I hope this video on the Corsair Scimitar RGB Elite MOBA and MMO mouse was helpful for you and if you liked it please click a like maybe maybe you want to click a dislike because maybe I'm a little silly or something uh, subscribe we got lots of content on the channel already um, we do some cosplay we live stream on twitch YouTube and D live at the moment so catch us anytime and don't be afraid to leave a comment uh, how you like the video if you like the content and maybe we'll see you in uh, in the adventures of World of Warcraft come on in Come join us. Until next time. Power. <laughs>